Now, one thing that I've seen some Tolkien fans criticize about this production, but I personally really enjoy, is the music. It's not the big, exciting, orchestral Howard Shore score we've become accustomed to recently. It's all Renfair instruments. It makes even the non-diegetic music feel to me like it's really part of this world. As for the diegetic music, it does not include every single song from the book, because again, there are just too many, but I do like the songs that it does include. Wow, they actually did it. They figured out how to make the Goblin song unpleasant and unsettling, yet still really catchy somehow. Not as catchy maybe as the Rankin Bass take, but still catchy enough while still being way more authentic to the way the music is described. But long before that, there's another song that they get even better. Far over the misty mountains cold. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there has never been a bad version of Far Over the Misty Mountains Cold. It is one of the highlights of both the Jackson trilogy and the Rankin Bass cartoon for me, but this is still my favorite version. I think the versions in the filmed adaptations are appropriately haunting and eerie, but I think this one adds magic and whimsy to that haunting eeriness. I think it balances a lot of tones and really gives me the sense that The Hobbit would be both creeped out and intrigued by this music. That he would feel the magic flowing through him upon hearing about this, but still be scared of that Tookish part waking up inside him. 